This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire E15 ES1-512 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on the Acer Aspire E15 laptop computer. Uh, before we start, a couple of things we need to go over. This particular model does not have a removable battery, so you have to make sure that the laptop is completely off, not in the standby, but completely off before you start the procedure. And there's a power button. If it's in a standby mode, the power button will slowly blink. It has to be completely off. And to make sure it's completely off, you either turn off the computer using software, just turn off in Windows, or do a long press of the power button. Press it down for four seconds and it'll turn off by itself. Uh, second thing is where to find the model number. There's a label on the palm rest that says Acer E15 and here ES1-512. If the label on the palm rest is missing, on the bottom there's uh, another label. At the top it says Acer ES1-512 series and on the bottom by the barcode it again says ES1-512. Okay, let's turn the laptop over and let's take a look at the tools that we're going to use for this. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers that's to manipulate any cables that may be stuck, remove stuck screws and remove adhesive tape if needed. And we have a hobby knife with a pointed edge or an exacto knife and that's to lift up adhesive tape mostly and we can also use it to pry things open. Okay, the first step is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen in order to expose the screen assembly. And this particular model does not have any screws securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly, so we can just snap it off, and that's what we're going to do. So what we want to do is use our fingernails to go around the bezel and find a place where we can gently lift up the bezel, and then gently lift up and out to snap the bezel off. And using this method, go make our way around the screen assembly. And if you find a place that you're stuck somewhere, you, you keep going past that place and you come back to that place when you have pried off the other parts of the laptop. So here we're stuck a little bit. We're going to come back to this part and we keep moving around. Just up and outward motion. And we come back to the place where we're stuck on. And there we go, we got it. And the same thing on the bottom. So keep going. And once you're done, you use a gentle rocking motion to free the bezel. And if that doesn't work, we go on the bottom and there's a seam we have to loosen up on the hinge covers. So what we want to do is use our hobby knife to pry open the seam, like so, and do so again on the bottom hinge cover, like so. And then flip the laptop over and then try again. This time we lift the bezel out and we put the bezel to the side. Next step is to remove the screen from the screen assembly. Uh, for this type of screen, it's a slim screen with mounting tabs on top and bottom and it's held together by screws. So we have to remove four screws, two on top and two on the bottom. And the top left screw, there's some adhesive tape on top of it. So we lift back the adhesive tape to expose the screw. And then with the screen assembly tilted back a little bit, we start removing the screws. So there's one, two, three, 
and 4. Okay, once we do that, we can gently grab the screen by the tabs and put it down on the keyboard assembly, being careful not to touch the power button so we don't turn on the laptop. Uh, this screen is connected by one connector to the screen assembly and it has adhesive tape on top to secure the connector. So what we want to do is use our hobby knife to lift up the edge of the adhesive tape and gently peel the adhesive tape back, like so. And once we do that, the tape is peeled back, we can grab, use our fingers to grab the back of the connector and pull it out like so. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector. You slide the connector in, and you'll feel but not here, two clicks. And let's get a close-up of the connector. So, pause the video right here. This is what a properly connection, connected connection should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's disconnect it again. And let's take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED slim EDP screen. That's a mouthful, but what that basically says is that it has LED backlight, which all new screens do from the last three or four years. Slim means that instead of mounting the screen on the sides with the screws, it's mounted on the top and bottom with the screws. And EDP is the type of connector. This is the EDP connector. The thing to know about this screen is there's another screen that looks almost exactly like this one, but has a slightly bigger connector. So when you do get the screen, make sure you get the EDP connector. So let's take a look at the part number. The part number is LP156WHBTP. A1. This is the part number you look up when you buy the screen. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons do have this screen for sale and what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. That means if we ship you the right screen. If we don't, we'll exchange it no charge for the right screen. We have a two-year warranty on our screens against defects. We have free email technical support so if you get stuck anywhere in the process, send us an email and we will walk you through. You also get this toolkit that I used in this video, exact same toolkit. It comes for free with the screen. And we have free priority mail shipping in the United States. So if you, if you order it, uh, we will ship it to you and you'll have it in two or three days after you order it. If you live outside the United States, you can um, we ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the regular checkout procedure. To order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, and then they will guide you to buy the right screen online. Okay, once you do receive the screen, most likely the part number will not be exactly the same. It will be different, but the screen will look like exact, exactly the same and will have the same type of connector. Once you do have the screen, um, reconnect the connectors I showed you. Mount the screen back in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top and two screen screws at the bottom. Then uh, snap the screen bezel back on and that's it. You should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.